another month of games join the service, and another list of 5 games that are worth getting the Platinum Trophy for on PlayStation Plus. This time is spooky season, so will there be any scary games worthy of getting the Platinum Trophy for? If you are unsure, check out my list of 5 to see if you agree. In 5th place we have Doki Doki Literature Club. Starting with a spooky one, although you could be fooled into thinking it is a cute little game. This one should take around 10 hours to plat, or a bit quicker if you skip through most of the dialogue. Breakthrough, achieve 100% data collection, is the hardest trophy in the game, which sees you collecting everything there is to collect such as poems, music and backgrounds. A lot of them will be unlocked naturally as the game progresses, but there are a few to look out for, so do look up a guide for this one to make sure that you don't miss anything. Coming in at the 4th spot is Gris, possibly the quickest one to plat on this list at around 5 hours. This game is a beautiful artsy platform adventure game that says you control a girl who travels across a colourless land. This is not a difficult game by any means, and the hardest trophy in the game sees you collect all 28 mementos. Some of these are pretty easy to miss, so it is recommended to use a guide for this one as well. In third place, we have Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm pretty sure this one has been around before, but since it is back, this game is definitely worth playing if you haven't already played it. This is an open world first person shooter set in Bolivia, and the aim is to take down a certain cartel. This one will take around 50 hours to complete, and a lot of the time consuming trophies will see you collect all the documents, buy all the upgrades, and collect all the bonus medals. Eliminating 7 enemies with a single mine is one of the hardest trophies to get in the game and it is easiest to get at the first objective of the deserter main mission as there will be a number of enemies bunched together to get this one. It was a toss up between what should go 1 and 2 but since they both have the word dead in their title Dead Island 2 and Dead Space round up the top 2 spots for the games to play during the Halloween month of October. Dead Space is the harder of the two and takes longer to plat, with around 40 hours needed to get, as well as completing the game on the hardest difficulty and having free playthroughs. There are at least four missable trophies, such as owning every weapon and only using the plasma cutter during an entire playthrough. I guess it is also safe to say that completing it on the hardest difficulty is, in fact, the hardest trophy to obtain in the game. Dead Island 2 on the other hand, takes around 25 hours to complete and only needs one playthrough. And there is nothing missable here as it is a free roam game. The hardest trophy in the game, Bucket List, complete the first tier of every combat challenge, as you complete all 26 combat challenges that can be accessed through the menu and selecting challenges. Completing all 10 survivor challenges comes in at a close second for the hardest trophy to obtain. So there you have it. Your 5 games to play during the month of Halloween, with 3 of them being horror-esque games. Do you agree with my list that you should platinum for the month of October 2024? Is there a game that I missed, or is there something that you would also like to know about the games that I talk about? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.